Hi, I'm Christina from The Turned Leg. I love to salvage, repurpose, and create and teach others to do the same. When I first started painting furniture, I saw all those beautiful blended pieces and knew I wanted to do that one day, but I really started off having a struggle. It was not natural. Luckily, I found DIY paint, which makes it a lot easier, and I'll talk more about it in this video. I'm gonna show you the tricks that I've learned, and hopefully, by the end of the video, you'll feel confident to create your own blended paint finish. Have you ever had a piece of furniture that you just kind of throw in the back of your garage and one day you will get to it? It just didn't ever feel like the right time to work on that piece of furniture. That's how it was with this table that I had. Um, I've recently kind of made a resolution to get those projects done. So I pulled the piece of furniture out and I had some inspiration about how I wanted the tabletop to look. I think when you paint furniture, 90% of it turning out is confidence and 10% are tricks you've learned along the way. Today, I hope to show you a few more tricks to help you be a really good furniture artist and hopefully I can raise your confidence too. For this project, I'm using DIY paint, White Swan. I love DIY paint. It is the best for blending. It is a clay-based paint with no VOCs and it is water-based. No prep is needed with DIY paint. If your piece is clean, just start painting. The squeeze bottle that I'm using to apply my paint is called a FIFO bottle, first in, first out. I'm also using my number eight paint pixie brush, which is one of my favorite. You can shop all of these supplies at shoptheturnedleg.com. Because DIY paint is heavily pigmented and it's clay based, it covers really well. Even though I'm using white, I'm only going to need two coats to get full coverage. My first tip is to put down a base coat when you are blending. I'm using DIY paint in prairie gray and applying it all over the top. When you're using DIY paint, it will lighten as it dries and so you can always tell when it's ready for the next step. When blending, it's usually a good idea to have three colors. For this project, I'm choosing Prairie Gray, Faded Burlap, and White Swan. I always put them on a paper plate. The brush you use also makes a difference. It is essential to have a good brush to get good blending. I love my Paint Pixie Dusty Brush or my DIY brush, also made by Paint Pixie, that is a blending brush. Both are essential to getting a great blending. Once I have my palette of colors ready, the only other item I need is my Water Girl Fine Mist Sprayer. This water bottle sprays an extremely fine mist and is one of the keys to good blending. Time to blend. I use my dusty brush and dip it into each one of the three colors on my palette and then I go back and forth with long strokes. I try not to think too much about how I get the paint on my paintbrush because that adds to the variation in color. As I paint, I also use my Water Girl Fine Mist Spray Bottle to help to blend the colors and make everything more even. Just spray, dip, and paint. Since this table had a lip on it, you had to be really careful. Once I got done with the blending, I had to go around the edge and clean any of the drips. If you're new to blending, a flat surface will be a lot easier. And this is day two. I let this sit overnight. Sometimes when blending furniture, it's a good idea to let the piece rest and then kind of see what it looks like the next morning. I'm going to add a few more touches and smooth out parts I think need it. I once again have my Water Girl water bottle and my palette of DIY paint colors. Let's get started. The process is the same, just spray and then dip your paintbrush into each one of the three colors and brush on. 
Just keep painting until you get the colors the way that you like. Okay, next step is to apply the top coat. I'm using DIY Big Top for the top of this piece to provide extra protection, and I'm just gonna apply it with a brush. You will need two coats of Big Top for your piece. It usually only takes about 20 minutes for the first coat of Big Top to dry. Once it's dry, you can apply the second coat. Do you have other tricks for how to blend paint that has worked for you? If so, please drop them in the comments below so we can help one another. It is time to wax. I'm gonna be waxing the bottom of this table. I'm using DIY paint and clear wax, and I have my wax brush. I'm gonna get started. When applying wax, you will need two coats for good coverage. Make sure to let it dry in between, and when you're done, make sure to buff it with a dry cloth. To make an extra durable finish, let me give you a quick little tip. You can apply DIY wax, clear wax, after your two coats of Big Top have dried. I like to make sure to sand with 320 grit sandpaper in between so you get a really smooth finish, and then I apply my clear wax. This clear wax adds just a little extra protection to your piece and provides a really nice shine. Once the wax dries, I will buff it with a lint-free cloth. Thank you so much for watching this video. To shop for any of the products that you saw me use in this video, just check out the links in the description below. And here is the finished piece. I really love how the top of this turned out with the blended paint finish. In fact, so much so that I did a whole nother table with the exact same finish I thought I would show you. Are you ready now to start on your blended paint finish? I hope so. I hope this video has inspired you to get out, grab a paintbrush, and create. If you like this video, please click the like button and subscribe. It helps me to make more videos to help others to salvage, repurpose, and create.